Food stamp fraud. It happened at the Pasco County Fairground where people were applying for Hurricane Irma disaster relief. News Channel 8's Jana Jones joins us now live in the Tampa newsroom with more. Jana? Good evening to you, Jen. Police say Omar Barker was trying to use a woman's identity to get close to $1,300 in public assistance. Thousands of people all over the Bay Area came out to Food for Florida events trying to get approved for some disaster relief. One mother told me her family could really use the help. It's very heartbreaking because they depend on you for everything. You're their source. So when my children come to me and they say they're hungry and, and I have not eaten because I need to feed them, it's real bad. Police tell us this Tampa man, Omar Barker, wasn't at the event for the right reasons. A Department of Children and Families employee recognized him and thought something seemed off. They thought that he had been at maybe four other events trying to get benefits with someone else's uh, information. But at that time, if they tried to make contact with him, he uh, fled the scene. But yesterday, police say he presented information from someone who had already received her benefits and he finally got busted. That makes me really sad because there's people who need, really needs it. And having people like that here is unacceptable. I did reach out to the Department of Children and Families. They tell me that their team of investigators prevented close to $13 million in fraudulent benefits just in the last six weeks. So, Jen, people really do try to do this all the time. It's really unfortunate. All right, Jana Jones, thank you very much.